In today's video, I'm sharing 10 reasons why you should have your artwork printed on different materials. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Irit. I'm a watercolor and mixed media artist in Austria, in Europe. And on my channel, I share my passion for watercolor and mixed media. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I know what you would like to see. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe and join my watercolor adventures. Nowadays, there are some fantastic options and websites where you can take a picture of your artwork or scan it, upload it to a particular website and then create a new product from it. So that means there will be a factory somewhere that will, for example, print your artwork into a canvas and frame it or print or a pillow and so on. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. This video is for you whether you paint full time and haven't tapped into this world of POD, but this is also for you if you just dabble in art and you're looking for a way to bring more of it into your home and also be able to gift unique gifts that really fit your loved one's uh, home and lifestyle. The holiday season is soon upon us. If you want to know more about this aspect of print on demand, then watch this video. Reason number one, these possibilities allow you to paint on the surface that you like with the media that you like. And that means that you can fully enjoy the process or, you know, use materials that you already own. So for example, if you're a watercolor artist, you probably have watercolors and paper and you can paint on those but then you can take your artwork and print it on a variety of different surfaces which you otherwise wouldn't paint on. So for example, you can transfer your watercolor paintings to canvas or other surfaces because I will be talking about that. Reason number two, and it's kind of similar to number one, but I know it's probably very relevant to a lot of you, using print-on-demand websites really allows you to keep creating in sketchbooks, which is a format that many of us love and enjoy. And also, if you paint on paper and a sketchbook, it allows you to take artwork from your sketchbook and kind of translate it into other products, which is a big plus in my book. Sometimes it's really annoying when you create that lovely sketch or art and it's in your sketchbook and either you don't want to rip it out or you can't really properly frame it. Uh, so using print on demand is kind of uh, the sketchbook loophole, let's call it like that. Reason number three, creating different products with your artwork allows you to fill your home with your personalized items. There's only so much wall space, there's only so many canvases you can hang, pictures you can frame, and creating different products really kind of takes this to a whole other level. And I know this from personal experience. I just love filling my space with um, items that have my artwork on them. Reason number four, creating products on print on demand allows you to use scraps, swatches, exercises that you otherwise wouldn't consider as, you know, finished works or you wouldn't consider framing them. However, the process of creating patterns for home decor items such as pillows, textiles, that sort of thing is completely different than creating a finished painting that you would frame and hang on your wall. So for example, I mean, you might like this also hanging on your wall, but a pillow with paint swatches on it uh, is a great decorative element and it doesn't have to be, you know, the Mona Lisa. So you can use very, very simple, uh, I, I wouldn't even call them paintings, but exercises uh, such as, you know, just making dots or stripes or swatches. You can use those and create really fantastic home decor object. Number five, this process really eliminates many restrictions when it comes to size. So obviously you probably won't be able to, you know, create like, let's say, um, a 
queen size blanket from a sketch that is this big but you can definitely enhance smaller works of art and create larger printed items as long as you take good photos or scan it in high enough resolution and usually the website will tell you if your image is uh, good enough more on that in the next video you can really blow up smaller pieces of artwork and print them into a larger size and i think that is especially fun for those of us who prefer to work small uh, and then sometimes get frustrated because you know you might enjoy the process but then the finished product is still sometimes like very small and underwhelming uh, so this kind of opens up many new options for those of us that like to paint small and think big Reason number six, while I'm guessing that most of us will use these websites to create a finished product, such as a pillowcase that you will just put in your living room, there are many more creative options. So for example, you could print your artwork onto some fabric and then sew yourself uh, a garment of clothing. Or you could order a pillow and then add on top of it some embroidery or something like this. So it can be a starting point for a whole new work of art. And I find that exciting. I haven't really tapped into that aspect, uh, but I definitely want to. Reason number seven, and this is a big one, and now we're getting into the holiday season. This process really allows you to spoil your family and friends with almost original artwork. If you're arty and you're crafty, you probably have people around you that also love what you do and they kind of hint or tell you or ask you, you know, maybe you could also paint, also paint me a picture, also do this for me or also make that for me. And many of us would love to, you know, create all these uh, pieces of artwork or craft uh, for everyone that asks us, but sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes you don't have the inspiration. Sometimes you don't have the time. You don't have the budget. And this is a really great way of uh, using artwork that already exists in the world. You know, you could, let's say a friend of yours really like painting, you could create a canvas print for her or a regular print or a pillow or a tote bag. There are so, so many options. And this can save you a lot of time because you don't have to create that personalized item for every single person you want to gift something unique. And you can very quickly order a bunch of them. Uh, you know, you could order the same item for maybe people who don't know each other and don't go to each other's houses <laughs> and keep things uh, still very personal and unique. Uh, reason number eight, and I think this is particularly relevant for our current day and age, where many of us have friends and family that live far away from us. This is a great way of saving costs and also kind of minimizing our footprint because Many of these websites, uh, print-on-demand websites, not all of them, and this is not relevant for all products, but many of them have factories and warehouses uh, in different continents. So for example, I offer in my shop some of these items and I have customers in Australia that order, let's say, a pillow and a blanket, and these are printed on demand in a warehouse in Australia and then shipped to them. So they get their items faster and cheaper and they're also supporting their local economy and also supporting uh, an artist that they want to support. So it's like a win-win-win situation. Okay, number nine, and there are tons of resources on this point, so I'm just going to um, mention it. You can make money, especially passive income, from using these websites. Uh, I personally use Printful and the process is seamless because it is uh, integrated with my Shopify store. So the products on my shop that are created uh, at Printful, print on demand items such as I have canvases, I have pillows and blankets, uh, they are when someone orders them for my website, I, besides creating the artwork and then uploading it and creating the, those products, uh, you know, digitally, uh, I don't have to do anything. So I can paint more 
and people can enjoy my artwork in these different forms except making sure that you know the customer is happy and that uh, everything is uh, made to their satisfaction this is a great way for generating passive income if you want more information about it there is a plethora of it on youtube and online okay and the last reason which i think is also important for many of us and probably will become more of an issue uh, as time goes by because i feel that is the direction we should be heading towards which is to move away from mass-produced items towards more personalized and created on-demand items so this is another aspect of it that for me is very tempting print-on-demand websites really made this transition easier uh, in certain aspects and depending on the website and on the product you can see already that there are a lot of more um, environmentally friendly production methods materials you can choose organic cotton or um, recycled materials so there are more and more options and I just encourage you to you know explore research see what is out there and you know really open your mind to these options let me know in the comments if you enjoy this video if you've used a print-on-demand website and which is your favorite i've used several and um if you want to hear more information about that then let me know uh, let me also know if you want to see a video highlighting those special products i think most of us know that you know you can make now t-shirts and mugs and stickers but there are some items that are more unique and you just have to kind of hunt them down uh, i know for me one that i really really loved and would actually love to do that again is i found a website i think it's actually in austria that can print you know whatever image you want i actually used it to print uh, a digital sketch that i created on procreate uh, for a friend and you can print it on just like these blocks of wood i'll try to put a picture on the screen but it came out fantastic and i think it's just like a really fun way of creating uh, as i said on surfaces you might otherwise not really know how to use so yeah lots of exciting possibilities out there thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video i don't know if it will be exactly the next one but very very soon uh, showing you exactly breaking down the process and showing you exactly how to turn your artwork into a print on demand product from start to finish besides the creating uh, art part uh, which i have many videos dedicated to creating art so you can check those out in the meantime I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.